What does salty mean? Jax. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to episode 3 of Pokemon Emerald. We're really digging in. We're really digging in. You almost just died there. I did. I, thought, I hope you cut that out. I'm sh I'm assuming you will. I thought I was gonna die. You I should really did. finish this fiddle. Uh, you can finish my fiddle. I don't think I want to because mine is warm. Which means yours is probably also warm. Mine's cold, actually. Really? I don't know why. Here. Go D! D Reynolds? Dude. Always Sunny in Philadelphia is one of the best shows ever. I don't know. I can watch, like, clips from that show, but I can't watch the whole episode. I think that is Danny DeVito at, at his greatest. I think they couldn't, for the character of Frank Reynolds, oh, I, I, know I don't I'm... think they could have chosen anyone better than Danny DeVito. And he makes that show. It's fucking hilarious. Him and, of course, Charlie Day as uh, Charlie. Great, great, great characters. There's a bunch of shit, too, behind the building there. In the grass. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's like a bunch of gaps in the grass. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna encounter... Yep. Oh. I knew it. What so do we have on our yeah. team so far? So. We have a Shroomish, a D, and a thing? Mm -hmm. We're kind of looking a little heavy on grass type, but if that's what we got, I might just roll with... I might just do the the one type challenge which I've always wanted to do and uh, now it, it's kind of forcing me to to do that <sighs> another potion is this turning into a one type challenge playthrough yes so I mean oh my god and you're going grass of all things are you fucking yikes, fucked in the head yeah. I mean I could maybe make it work Nah, grass is actually good, though. It would leave a little bit of a challenge. The fire gym would be tough. Oh. The flying gym would be especially oh. tough. The flying gym flying is fucking electric? notorious. Or something like that? <clears throat> For what? The flying? Isn't it something... Oh, why don't I use... The slime? flying gym? Yeah, isn't it? it oh, no, she flying. just has a Pidgeot. Oh, that's... So she super. has, uh... Uh... Spoilers, dude! I haven't played through Soul Silver yet. Oh, sorry. Um, You've played through Silver, though. No, she has a Pidgeotto. Mm, no, I haven't played Pidgeotto. through Gen 2. I haven't played through Gen 2 at all. Really? Yeah. I had... Okay, story time. Hey, everybody, story time at Salty by Design. I had Pokemon Crystal. Crystal is second gen, right? Mm-hmm. Game Boy Color? Yep. Um, I had Pokemon Crystal for the longest time, and I meant to play through it, but I never did. When I went to college... In New York, oh, I lived with a guy. He was an older guy. He was a friend of a friend. Oh. Um. So he was like a 40-year-old or whatever. Okay. And I lived with him for super cheap rent because he knew a close friend of my family. Okay, this is getting kind of weird. Yeah, this is getting juicy. It gets juicier. All right, wait till we get into the what happened in my Pokemon Crystal. He had a son. And, um... I guess it's not Dachshund if I say the first name. His name was Rob. And his son's name was also Rob. But we called the son Rob Rob. And we called him Rob. So dad was Rob and son was Rob Rob. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, they were cool people though. And his son was super cool. He was, mm, I think he was like freshman in high school when I was in college. So he was like a lot younger than me. But we could still relate to a few things here and there, you know? He was he was a cool kid, and um, he was into gaming, so we, we shot the shit a few times about that. And uh, basically, he was saying like how he was super into Pokemon and all that, and he was like, Oh, I haven't played anything before like the DS games. And I had Pokemon Crystal on me. And I was like, you know what? Why don't you just have my Pokemon Crystal? And... Just play through it. All I want you to do is let me know how it is. And that's it. So I gave him my Pokemon Crystal, and I... I don't regret it, but I do at the same time, because I really want to fucking play through well, Pokemon Well, that's crystal. because you're the type of person that you would be happy 
with either your game back or him messaging you on Facebook and being like, yo, dude, mm. this was the best one I had ever played. Like, I'm going to mail it back to you or I'm just going to keep it because I got a save file on here. I got Suicune. I got fucking Suicune, I brother. I got Suicune. I got, you know, I got all the legendary dogs. I'm sorry. Like, you would rather hear that. Suicune was on the actual label of the game, right? That was Suicune? Yes, the crystal. Was Suicune on crystal, yep. Yeah. So I gave him my crystal, and um, I don't know if I actually gave it to him or if I meant, I don't remember if it was meant to be like, oh, hey, borrow it, play through it, and then, you know, give it back or whatever. Either way, I never got it back, which is fine, but um, he did tell me about it. We we met up like maybe a month later, He because his dad would have him over for the weekends, and usually I was really busy. Maybe I was like staying on campus for like a weekend with the boys or whatever mm -hmm. so most of the time when he came over I wouldn't be there I wasn't at that house a lot I just stayed there when I had to oh yeah I remember that and um I I do remember though maybe a month or more later um talking to him and being like oh did you play Pokemon Crystal he's like yeah dude I got like I'm at like the sixth gym I, this game is awesome and yeah. I'm like fuck yeah brother Dude, Soul Silver is, or like Heart Gold, it's just awesome. Oh, because just like the Pokemon follow you, it's mm. fucking so fucking awesome. I, I definitely want to do that at some point. We could like do that at my house tomorrow or something at some point. That's a huge motivator for me. Is um, if like if it's someone, I, I don't, I don't want to say someone I trust. I don't think that's best wording but someone who i know is like really into gaming out of mint about video games but yeah. yeah yeah if like they know their shit with video games if they say something is good that's what clicks it in my head that's like okay i should probably fucking try this like you mentioned red dead i've never snow been into runner. that like gta red dead type of uh, snow runner is something i think i would honestly be into off the bat i don't think i would need help getting into that but Dude, Something like Red Dead or like GTA, because I love those open world games like that, but I like them more like medieval. I don't like the modernized stuff. But that's Red why, Dead, I think that's why I Red Dead's really good. Like... Dude, I literally I opened it up the other day, right? And I'm playing, yeah. And I'm just like going through the settings, like yeah. I'm trying to like get familiarized with how to play. Yeah. And all of a sudden, this guy rides up to me, like rides up next to me on his horse. He's like, "Howdy, partner. How's it going?" I'm like, uh, I'm like, I don't know what the push to talk uh, key is. I'm like, what? what, uh, what? The role play. And like I did on my like, howdy, like, howdy cowpoke. Howdy cowpoke. It is it, like I don't know. It's good. Uh, hey. I, I like that aspect. But then SnowRunner, it's just it's a whole nother feeling, dude. Like I already like the off-roading aspect. Like I've off-roaded like a dozen times in multiple aspects, uh. and that game is just so fucking satisfying and it looks so good you you'll literally be driving two miles an hour and be like oh my god <laughs> what? this is fucking amazing you'll be you're you're stuck in mud and like i'm towing you i'm trying to tow you out with a winch mm. and it's like barely working you're still stuck you've been stuck for 30 minutes but guess what it's still fucking the best time ever yeah it sounds like it that game was awesome i just like like any driving game i really like driving and like racing games and just driving in real life. I love driving. It's one of my biggest, uh, one of my biggest things. I do enjoy it. I gotta level up here a little bit. I'm gonna take on this. I think we trip. both enjoy it very much, but I definitely think you enjoy it more yeah. than I do. I also love passenging, though. I really like. I just like being in cars. It's <laughs> just like traveling. I think it's great. Especially with someone that you trust driving, like. <laughs> yeah. Like even with you, I, I'm. <laughs> I guess I won't go into too much detail, but you can so. basically drive like a maniac. I just I'm got still my just... license back. <laughs> yeah. Please. I still, I'll just still sit there. Like, you could be going 200 miles in a fucking hour in a Bugatti down, like, a side road with swerves and turns and shit, and I'm not not even one a point zero zero one percent worried Like if about it. That's the thing, though. Like, if I'm not going to prevent anything, if yeah. something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen to anybody. Yeah. It doesn't matter your skill level. And that's the thing. Like, normally, I wouldn't say I'm a worried person, but I'm cautious. Yeah, same. So normally, 
in a driving situation like that, literally with, I would say anyone, <laughs> like any, even myself driving, I would be a little like, oh, wait a minute. But we've just driven together so much yeah. that I just don't. Like, I don't get that feeling. And it's nice, because I, like, that's the only fucking time I don't get that feeling. And think about this, like, the amount of time that we've driven together, I've driven that without you probably legit, like, four to ten times that. Yeah. Like, by myself, like, even just ripping it up by myself, like... Maybe that's why it's so comfortable to me. Because, I, cause like, I know that... <laughs> Like this is just another day. Yeah, like, <laughs> like you, yeah, like you know, like like me getting run off the highway by a big tractor trailer truck. Like that's not just because you're there. Like yeah. that happens on like a normal basis. Ah, fuck! Remember when that happened? Yeah, dude. And like I it was like, watching him, bro. Like it wasn't panic in the sense of like, oh my god, something's gonna happen. No, I'm like dude, it was what panic is this guy in the doing? sense of like, what the fuck is that guy thinking? I'm right like, is he not like, seeing me? I'm not like even... slowly moving over yeah, into yeah. the breakdown lane as he's like trying to push me over. I'm like, hello. So it wasn't even like panic. It was just like astonishment. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, astonishment. It's what shocked the... that like, what? How does this guy not see me? Like, Is I was this not, dude? I was not in a blind spot either. That's a thing. No. Like... Yeah. And he just fucking started going. He just didn't look. By the way, for everybody listening, we were driving on the highway once. And we, okay, we were in the slow lane, yeah. right? All the way in the right. Mm -hmm. And were we like near an exit? 60, 65. Were we anywhere near an exit? Mm, not really. Half a mile, maybe. Uh, so anyways, like, we were, um, and I, I've, I've heard this a lot, that there's like an irrational fear of people driving next to 18 wheelers. And I personally don't get that. The only thing I think of is like, how often you see like the blown out tires on the side of the highway and I'm like what if like my luck a tire would fucking blow out when I'm right next to it and it would like slam into my mm. car but even then like I'd, I'd probably be fine right yeah maybe some damage to the car but whatever um anyways we were driving in the slow lane on our way were we on our way to Boston we were going, going to, like a to... retro game store or something we're going to sudden impact uh micro center it was Micro Center? I think so. Alright, so we were on our way to Boston to go to Micro Center, which is Cambridge, I think it's in. Mm -hmm. And, um, we're in the slow lane. There's an 18 wheeler, big old fucking tractor trailer truck in the middle lane. And I've just realized that we've been playing Pokemon Emerald for three episodes now, and we've <laughs> barely talked about the actual game. Well, maybe it's just but... like what the podcast should be. Yeah, fuck it, but it's fine. Oh, fuck. Wait, heal him up. I... Anyways, we're in the slow lane, right? We're going 65 or whatever, and this tractor trailer's in the middle lane. And um, he puts on his directional, and I'm like staring at him. Yeah, and I, he was. How do I put this? He was going slow. Yeah. For the middle lane. Everyone was going slow. So we're like, okay, we're gonna pass this guy, even though it's un. un what do you call it? Unorthodox, I guess. Uh, to pass someone when you're to the right of them on the highway, but he was going so fucking slow that it's like whatever we're, we're gonna pass him So we're going and tractor trailer trucks normally drive slow anyway, so you always fucking pass those fucking assholes So we're going to pass him and as we're approaching this guy he his right blinker turns on which has happened to me before many times and they but wait every single sometimes. time you see the right blinker go on you're like, okay, well, their right blinker's on. That just means they're planning. They're planning ahead to change lanes. And they're going to wait for me to pass them. And every single fucking time I've done it, personally, you pass them and they do it. Like, they see you and you pass them and they do it. This time, when we're driving together into Cambridge, this guy, I guess, didn't see us? Or... Didn't give a shit. I don't fucking and, know. And you know what? He didn't even get off at that exit either. He just no, went over he into just, that lane to keep I cruising. gotta go to the right lane right now. So anyways, we see the right blinker turn on. We approach him and we're like, okay, we're, we're gonna pass him. You know, this is something that happens normally. So whatever, we can pass him and it's fine. When we're like still at the, what do you call it? Like the back part of the truck, like the cargo part. Trailer? Yeah, we were like... Halfway. We're like, yeah, we're like halfway 
it down the length of the trailer. Most most of the way past it. And this motherfucker just <laughs> just starts coming into the right lane. And I'm like staring at him. I'm like I'm looking <laughs> on my left side. I'm staring at him like driving over the white line. I'm like Dude, what? Like, he's getting closer and closer and closer. So like, I just have to move over every yeah. little tiny bit more. Like, oh, fuck me. And then like, I'm on the rumble strips. I'm like, Durr. so then I'm just like, all right. Like, this guy still doesn't see me. Guess now I'll floor it. And, and I floored it and went around. I feel him. like normally, ninety five percent of people that are driving would absolutely panic. Including the passengers would completely <laughs> yeah, panic. Dude, absolutely in Everybody that situation. Would panic. A hundred percent. But you and I were both like we didn't panic, but we were both at the same time kind of just like what the fuck? Like what the fuck is this guy doing? Like what is this guy doing? But not at all like, oh shit, I'm worried that something's gonna happen. More of just like what? If there's one thing, what are you thinking? If there's one thing I'm actually good at in life, it's, in all honesty, observation. It's driving cars very fast. Yes. Well, not even that, but like observation. Like, dude, I'm watching what, mm. like, you might not think I'm watching you right now, but like I'm watching you, and like I'm watching everything else that's going yeah. on in this room. Like, I'm at yeah, an airport. Like, I'm watching everybody, and like I know what's going on everywhere. Well, Maybe while that's... most people are just like, dur, 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 like staring at a fucking wall, like not having any <laughs> idea what's going on. Just zoning out. Yeah. Do you think that's something that comes from working in a kitchen? Because I, no, I, I get mean, the same thing. I've kind of always had it. And it's, um, I've kind of had something like that a lot too, though. But I think being in a kitchen kind of like... How do you say it? Like, not emphasize, but like it, 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 uh, it, it, it makes it like stronger, makes it more yeah, pronounced. It makes it very prominent that yeah, prominent. that that feeling of like, because when you're in a kitchen and we've both been in a position where we need to like lead the kitchen and you need to know what every single person in the kitchen is doing. Sorry, this is a fucking kitchen talk. I'm sorry if you've never worked in a kitchen. Fuck you. But anyways, this is something that like you need to do. Like you need to know what the guy on your right, the guy on your left is doing, mm -hmm. and you need to know how long it's gonna take the guy on your right to do what they're doing, and how long it's gonna take the guy on your left to do what they're doing, down to the fucking second. Yep. Because everything's gotta go out at the same time, blah blah blah. Kitchen talk. Um So it's kinda of funny, like same kind of thing with World of Warcraft, like me raid leading, like Yeah. There's everyone has this joke. Um, so there's there's this one room, it's like a little circle room that we eventually go into halfway through the raid. And it's a little circle room that we pull a bunch of, they're like mana drain uh, worms. And there's like a little uh, arcane kind of void walker guy. Mm -hmm. And we pull, there's probably like six or seven. I, I literally, I do not count them. I do not how many, I do not know how many are there. But every single time, like we pull one at a time, we kill the first pack, okay, get the second pack. There's like six or seven of the same packs. And after the same amount of time, every single raid, every single week, I'm like, okay, what do we got? Like one more left out there? And they're like, yep, we got one left. And like, I'm not counting them as they die. Like, I'm not like, okay, that was the second one that we killed. That was the fourth one. I'm just like, all right, like now is about the right amount of time. Like what? We got one left. Oh, yeah. Yep. We got one left. You're just observing. And then like I did a, like a different raid, a, the same raid, but with a different group. Oh, this might be a bad battle. Oh, double battle. Yeah, though. this might be bad. Um and i'm like i'm like for some reason i'm like all right like we might have one left but i don't think so i'm like so what we got two left guys they're like yep we got two left i'm like Psh. like dude mint fucking mint uh, i might be a little dead here i no, will be fine you got grass types fucking this is, this is a geo dude it's a geo dude dude who gives a shit I get that. The, the, the observing thing. Oh, fuck. And, um... That's come up in, like, multiple jobs that I've worked where, like... Oh. Someone will be doing something. Um... How do I... Okay, for example. I used to landscape, right? I was, um... I was a grass cutter. I was a grass cutting boy. And... Mm. One summer, when I was landscaping, right? This dude 
the, it was like the head of the crew or whatever, he would always ride the lawnmower. Yep. And we had like the ride on lawnmower where he would sit or stand or whatever on the back of it and ride along. And then we had like your regular whatever suburban what you would own if you were a regular suburban family push lawnmower type of thing. And we have one of those. <clears throat> and I was using that and I had stopped it and put it like in the back of the trailer and then um, ride lawnmower main guy mm. was coming towards that thing and I was doing something else. I don't remember what it was, but I was doing something else like weed whacking or some shit. And I noticed, just like out of the corner of my eye, I noticed that he's coming towards me, and in between me and him was the little lawnmower that I was using beforehand. In between me and him was that, and I noticed out the corner of my eye that he was doing that, so like, just quickly, I just took my arm, put it behind me, and pushed the lawnmower out of the way. And that was it. That's all I did. And then kept going back to what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So he had a clear path to like, go through, and keep going with what he was doing in a straight line and at, when we were done with that in the truck he was like you know i fucking love working with you and i'm like what do you mean and he's like you push that thing out of the way and you you just like you just know like things are flowing a certain way and like i'm coming this way and in order for me to do it at the most productive way possible or whatever this has to be out of the way and like you just did it and you fucking kept going back to doing what you're doing yeah but and, like, like the whole observing thing and like it just makes like little little fucking decisions like that yeah. where you're like okay he's coming here and this would help like even a fraction of a fucking second it would it would help a little bit and that's the same thing with with cooking in a kitchen type of thing being observant it's uh, it's a very good. Uh... By the way, go to Twitter and follow. Kind or what, of, yeah. what is it called on Twitter? Is it a follow? Some, uh, I think it's a follow, twit. right? Twit. It's a twi no, no, wait, no, don't, 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 don't say that. Don't say that. Twit salted no, by no, design no, no. on Twitter. It's just tweet. <laughs> it's just tweet. It's just tweet. Salty by yeah, design on that. Twitter. Um, um. Check it out, Salty by Design on Twitter. I mean, we're, we've gotten lots of interesting and honestly things that I could talk about. Topic. Yeah, I, I just by bullshitting this. It'll uh, be Pokemon. there. It'll be there uh, on the podcast. But this is this is how you do it, man. You which just, uh, cruise through this game. Yeah, which may or may not happen. Podcast. Um, um, go to right. Twitter and ask us questions. Ask any question you fucking want on Twitter. I'd answer and we'll, anything. I'll we'll answer it. Yeah, I'll answer anything. Have Any... I ran outside naked with a uh, birthday cake? We'll see. Only if, if you if I can watch get a the hole other in episodes. One. Yeah. If I can get a hole in one, by the way, go watch Mario Golf. I would it's do a great, it. It's a great couple episodes. It's fun. We if, love that game. If you did it, I would do it. I'll just say If that. I did it? If you did it, I would if do I it. Would, well, that's at all. At all. At all. Through. At all. Well, That's a spoiler right there. No, that means I didn't not, do it. You, you think said, they're still paying it. attention? They're not. They're, yeah, they're not they're paying They're watching attention. me play Pokemon. Kidding? Everybody watching, you all suck, and I hate you all. Because you're not listening, so it doesn't matter. No one's listening. They just have us on in the background. What are you kidding? Anyways, welcome to Pokemon Emerald, that salty by design episode. We're in episode three right now. Are we? Yeah. I mean, I still haven't gotten... We're almost done with it. I guess I should three. try the, the first gem, eh? It's rock. I should probably just go kill it anyway. I've been trying uh, to, like, grind, but... Have you gotten to the end of the tunnel where you saved Pico or whatever? No, it was just rock. No, you should do that first. It was just rock. What? It was just rock. You can't save the bird? No. Why? There was no bird. Pico Are you serious? Was, Pico wasn't there. 100% Pico yes, wasn't there? 100% Pico was not there. I'm gonna go do the gym. 100% right. Pico was not go there. Do the gym. I went in there, and I turned back around, because nothing was in there. Hmm. God damn it. I'm gonna get a shiny this run. I'm calling it. I'm getting a shiny this emerald. Are you really? Yeah, 100%. I have, okay, hey, more salty lore. I've never gotten a shiny Pokemon. I got I've one. Two. In Pokemon Let's Go, which I can't even count. Hey, wait, before we do the gym... What? We're going to do the gym in the next episode. Oh. What I was saying... 
<laughs> oh, excuse me. I've never gotten a What's shiny. I got a shiny on stream once, but it was Pokemon Let's Go, which I feel like is extremely <laughs> easy to get a shiny because <laughs> they make yeah, shiny they... hunting very easy in that game. I mean, you have to do a lot of work to get it increased. Yeah. But, it's... but once you get that work done, it's super easy, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, Was that a super potion? I'll take it. Yeah. Which so anyways, fish? go to Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. Ask a question. Because there may or may not be a podcast. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Right? Pasta? It might yes. happen. Pasta. Ask us what our favorite kind of pasta is. What do we ask the people in this? Oh yeah, what do you do? What do you do for a job? What's your career? What are you good at? And explain in the comments. Next, um, next episode, we're gonna face the gym. The, the first gym. We're gonna do it! First gym! Yeah! Bye. Woo! I'm ready. Oh. Hold on. I'm so scared, actually, though. Oh. This gym is scary.